which was we have this iris. You want to try the iris? Let's, let's do all three. Yeah, let's do all three. Iris. But they're all scan. Oh no, two. That's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. have two. Okay, iris scanner. So let's review them. I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, the iris scanner. Let's let's do the iris scanner. <laughs> All right, uh, you hold the mouse. Okay, uh, this is the iris scanner. This is the iris scanner. You swipe, it scans. Okay, and uh, so that's a mouse that scans, mm. and this is a pen that scans. Okay, let's let's show them. This is a pen. What is it? You write, it types. Iris. Okay, executive. So now review both of them and tell us. Okay, so iris are. are the guys who actually created something called OCR. Optical character. They are the ones who created. They are the ones who have perfected the technology behind it. Not the ones who created. It. No. Okay. They are the ones who perfected it. Like how no. Nuance no did voice recognition. Mm. You know your Siri, HTC, uh, yeah. Google. Now all of these are based on a system called uh, created by Nuance. Okay. All right. Which is voice recognition. <laughs> Iris have created optical character <coughs> recognition. Mm. So you scan anything in to mm. recognize the characters and create a word document out of it. These guys have perfected the technology behind it. Mm, okay. So people like LG, people like uh, all the big scanner companies, if they have a software that uses OCR, this is the yeah. Because I remember in JITEX around four or five years ago, when uh, LG launched its uh, scanning scanner mouse, mouse. Okay. They were packaging the iris software with it. Oh, seriously? Okay, okay. So how do you rate this? So in terms of in terms of usability, mm. like this, the pen device. Let me tell yeah. you a little bit about the pen device, yeah. which is very very interesting. Mm. It's a regular pen. Hmm. But it detects based on your movement what letters you're typing, and it actually scans it into memory, which you then connect to your device. You can either connect via Bluetooth to your uh, phone. Hmm. Uh, sorry, I don't think there's Bluetooth in there. Sorry, no, hmm. sorry, no Bluetooth. Okay. Uh, but you connect it, and then it'll actually upload the scan as an image. Oh. Okay. So even if you lose the paper, you have a scanned image of what you've written. Who would use something like this? A lot of executives use this. Mm. A lot of stenotypers use it. Okay. Uh, this I have actually used. I've used the LG version of this about three years ago. Mm. Uh, when I was working in Game Boy. Okay. Because I actually got a lot of press releases by email, a lot of press releases by fax and stuff. So just scan it in, and it automatically just uploads into the system, and mm. it's fantastic. Well, would you recommend a normal user to keep something like this? Or? Uh, a, a scan mouse is see it beats having a full size scanner at home. Mm. So yeah, those uh, the big flat bed scanners. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're useful. Having a scanner at home is always useful. It mm. just depends upon how you want. They have a whole range of devices. They have pocket scanners, A4, tube scanners, mm. that you scan over a device, you hold the thing and you scan yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. They have that as well. I just have created that solution. So what do you so rate? It's useful. It? Uh, the pen, I would say because of the fact that they've used some really cool technology, I rated about seven, eight and a half. Mm. Uh, the the my mouse is a nine. Oh, uh, by the way, a, a regular just, just to show you this, this is also inside amazing all the uh, bits and pieces of the technology. Yeah. So let me just tell you how this works. Uh, like I was saying, it's not really Bluetooth. This is a device that connects to your laptop or mm. your the phone. Okay. Or, this or receives the data. it receives the data and it automatically scans it in. So there's a, sen there's a sensor in here that senses what you're writing mm. and then this receives the data and uploads it. Okay. So just to show you, this is how the picture that shows here, uh, sorry, here. It shows how it is connected. Okay. So, what do you rate it in terms of uh, uh, what is the price? These are actually quite expensive. They started for about three, four hundred dirhams for mm -hmm. uh, a regular scanner. Okay. And I think this one is about uh, four fifty. The mm -hmm. scan mouse because okay. of the technology use and the, the software itself is quite expensive. I uh, is the um, is the mouse durable? Will it withstand yes. if you it, drop it and all? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what do you rate uh, this the, one? The, this I would rate about seven and a half, eight. Mm. This is about nine because Ooh. this is more usable than this. Okay, fine. All right. I've not used it, so I wouldn't rate it. But uh, uh, well, if you say it uh, differently, so Partha from Channel Buzz uh, rates uh, this one at nine, nine and this one at seven and a half, eight. So these, let me show you the products so you can see them. This is the Iris uh, Iris scanner. It you swipe, it scans both of them. Here they are. So the time, you write it types. Oh, you write it types. Oh, what did I say? Oh yeah, you you write it types, and this one. Um, you swipe it scans. You swipe it scans. Cool, pretty cool. Okay, so let's move on to the next product and see what have we got.